Good evening. My name is Kenneth L. Palmer Sr. I am here with family uh, as we go into this Canvas exhibit video. My Canvas ex exhibit video will be on the Crow, uh, the Crow Ivory Elk Tooth Bracelet. As you can see right here, this is a symbol or a picture of the Crow Ivory Elk Tooth bracelet. And so I'm going to be uh, showing and sharing with them the Crow Ivory uh, Elk Tooth bracelet as if we were in a museum and they are viewing this for the very first time so that I can give them insight behind uh, this beautiful uh, exhibit of a Crow Ivory Elk Tooth bracelet. As they are looking at this crow ivory elk tooth bracelet, this crow ivory elk tooth bracelet helps us to be able to understand that Native American tribes hold the elk, Wapiti, Shawnee, and Cree, or Hehaka, Lakota, in high esteem and consider him a relative, a relative who brings strength, endurance, and patience. As you look at this picture, tribal nations each value the elk and place it as a teacher in many stories told through oral traditions. The elk is a survivor and a protector, bringing good omens to people. According to an external site called Crow Ivory Elk Tooth Bracelet, C. Uh, established in 1870, the canines of elk, bulls, and cows are known as elk teeth, bu uh, booklers, ivories, or even elk tusk. These antlers took the place of tusks, and these upper canine teeth became worthless at some point. So they started to disappear. In the 1870s, bulls were once killed for their teeth alone which are the insignia of a renowned fraternal. Elk teeth were seen as prized possessions of the Native Americans of the Great Plains. According to Wikipedia, as you look at this picture uh, of this wonderful exhibit of these, uh, of these elk teeth, these include, uh, 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 the elk teeth were seen as prized possessions of the Na Native Americans of the Great Plains. According to Wikipedia, these tribes included the Arapaho, the uh, Assiniboine, Blackfoot, Cheyenne, Comanche, Crow, Gros Ventre, Kiowa, Lakota, Lapan, Plains Apache, or, or Kiowa Apache, Plains Cree, Plains Ojibwe, Sarsi, Nakoda, which is known uh, also as Stony, and the Kump and Tonkawa. Back at that time and day, some dresses had an excess of 1,000 of them attached as decorative trim. These necklaces were also known as Crow Medicine Necklaces back in the 1870s, strung with large blue trade beads, then uh, 10 elk teeth two flat stones and two red stained medicine pouches so that they could be able to address any situation within their tribes. Today, elk teeth remain a prize of the, of the successful hunt and are fashioned into rings and other jewelry selling for thousands of dollars. Today, most people don't realize that there are that they are that they are because the pair of ivories is hidden in the elk's upper jaw. You may also hear these upper front teeth referred to as eye teeth or whistlers. According to a website at https backslash backslash www.elkusa.com backslash elk underscore ivory underscore teeth dot htm. In the mid-1700s, groups such as the Blackfeet, Sioux, 
uh, and Comanche became master riders and warriors, and they controlled huge hunting grounds that supported thousands of the members of their tribes. According to ElkIvory.com, even in this present day, uh, uh, elk ivory is made by a manufacturer called Jensen Ringmakers, also known as Jensen Jewelers. Open their, they opened their first store in downtown Twin Falls in 1956 with 15 locations, and uh, their company offices and original store are still in downtown Twin. CEO Tony Prater has fashioned elk tea from actual remnants of prehistoric tusk and makes uh, and makes jewelry, spectacular jewelry, especially when accented with diamonds. Uh, with diamonds, elk jewelry, as of today, is available not only to women but also to men in their own designs and crafted to the highest of standards. Although at some point they became worthless, yet today they have value. What it meant for the Native Americans in, past, in the past symbolically has become a treasured value even now. This is the exhibit canvas uh, regarding the crown, the crow ivory, elk to bracelet. And so remember, as you look at the crow ivory elk tooth bracelet, always keep in mind uh, how it was established, what its value meant to the tribes, even back then in the early 1870s, to what it means now, present day, for people who want to be able to wear and exhibit something prehistoric. Thank you so much.